Hello everyone. In this particular video, I am going to be explaining to you the toggling of four different LEDs using LPC2148. And in this, I am going to be using four pins of my port 0 of my LPC2148. And those pins are 4, 5, 6 and 7. So you are going to initialize it with the header, your particular program. You are going to initialize the delay over here for the count values of how much time is it going to be on and off. And that delay function is the one that you will be calling over here in the 18th and the 20th line. So we will be looking into that. Now what you need to do initially in your particular program is you need to define a particular macro which is not mandatory at all. It will be easy for you to identify these particular lines over here. What you are going to do here in this particular macro is you are going to specify that pin number 4, 5, 6 and 7 is initialized to 1. So it is initialized to 1 over here and these, mac these values are initialized or defined to a particular value LED 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is how you define a particular macro here. So instead of using pin number 4, 5, 6 and 7 you can give it a name LED 4, 5, 6 and 7 and that is what you have done over here. Now coming to the main part of your program what you are going to be doing initially is for us we know that the LED is an output device to the program we need to make it understand that it is an output so how do you do that you are going to give it by the instruction direction okay so IO0 so this is IO you know it is input output and what is the 0 means it means you are using the port 0 of your LPC2148 the LPC2148 has two ports port 0 and port 1 Port 0 has 0 to 31 pins, whereas your particular port 1 has 15 to 31 pins. And here in this particular program, we are using port 0, which is 4, 5, 6 and 7 pins over there. So here you need to initialize port 0 and the particular direction is initialized over here by giving this particular function LED 4 or 5, 6 or 7. By giving this particular function, it is understood that you are initializing them as an output function over here. Next what you need to do is after declaring these LED pins as outputs your next step is to clear the particular LEDs first. This is equivalent to resetting a particular flip flop to a known state. In digital electronics you may be aware if you have if you are working with any device like a flip flop you need to initialize it to a known state so that only the next state can be determined. So what you are going to be doing here is you are going to just initialize your LEDs to be turned off. How is it done? By giving the CLR function over here. CLR stands for clear. So IO clear. Which port are you? Which port is considered over here? Port 0. So port 0 is cleared over here. So IO CLR 0. Okay. And what are you going to clear? You are going to clear these four pins over here. So you are going to use the corresponding macros over here. So you are clearing all these four pins. And please understand these lines are going to be executed only one time. You are not going to be executing it. It will not execute many times. It will just execute one time. The lines available over here in this while loop is the one that is going to be executing again and again repeatedly. So this is the initialization part that is completed over here. Now you come into your while loop and after clearing all the LEDs you are giving a small delay to set all the LEDs. So it means you are turning on the LEDs over here. Set is equal to giving that value 1 to the particular bit or a logical voltage to that particular bit. And as you can understand IO input output set is setting the value to that particular one and again you are using port 0. So this is the instruction that is given over here and the same followed by the same LED 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. So all the LEDs are turned on over here and after a delay what you are going to do is you are going to clear all the LEDs. Again this is a duplication of the same instruction that we saw in line number 16. You are going to clear all the LEDs over here that is what is happening. Again, what is going to happen in this particular loop, after 21 it is going back to line number 18, the after a delay it is turning on the LEDs, then it is going to have a delay, then turn off all the LEDs, again it is going back to line number 18, there is going to be a delay turning on, so this is what is going to be happening again, turning on, turning off, turning on and turning off, this is what is happening in this particular program. So let's see how to run this particular program. So you save it and after that you're going to rebuild your particular program. Check for errors, no errors over here. Then when you debug your particular program, you will be coming with this particular window. When you look into this window, we need to check in the simulation where the output is available. So we go to peripheral GPIO slow interface and you remember that we are using port 0. So we click on port 0 over here, a window opens over here. And in this you can see that you have your IO0 direction set clear all the instructions that we saw till now and these are the two places where you will be checking your particular output. Okay. So when we run this program you will get a clearer picture but before that these are the bits as I told you earlier 0 to 31 these are the bits that can be used in port 0. So we have port 0 1, 2, 
3, 4. So my pin number 4 starts over here, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So these are the 4 pins that I am going to be using in this particular program. So when you run this program, you can see that 4, 5, 6 and 7, the direction is enabled over here, which means it is an output. And you can see that whenever the bit is set, it is ticked over here. And whenever the bit is ticked over here, it is understood that the LED is going to be turned on over here. When the particular set value is disabled, you can see that the LED is turned off over here. So LED is turned on and the LED is turned off. So all of these are being varied by this particular delay function. You can increase the duration of the on time or the off time based on these particular functions. You can play with these functions. You will first try to analyze which delay function will increase the on time and which particular delay function will decrease the off time. So please remember this delay function is the one that is going to be increasing the on time. And this delay function is going to be decreasing the off time. You can try that out. And similarly, you have different LEDs that you can play with. You are not only having a constraint of using these four LEDs. You can use either three, two or even more number of LEDs. All you need to do is you need to declare the particular LEDs in the corresponding direction clear and set lines. And before that, you need to create the particular macro for that particular uh, macro for that particular pin. Otherwise, you don't have to worry about this delay function which you have declared over here. So I hope you are able to understand the toggling of different bits that are being used in your LPC2148. And remember, we have used port 0 pins over here. Thank you so much.